So in front of us, we have 2 divided by 5. We cannot divide a smaller number from a bigger number. So when we have a problem like this, since 2 is smaller than 5, what we do is we add a 0 after the 2, which will make it 20, and we put a decimal on top before the 0. Now we have 20 divided by 5, and we know the answer is 4. We then take 4 times 5, which will be 20, and then we subtract. 20 minus 20 will be 0. So 2 divided by 5 will be 0.4. So in front of us, we got 2 divided by 12. We cannot divide a smaller number from a bigger number. So what we have to do is we have to put a 0 after the 2 and we put a decimal right on top. And now we take 20 divided by 12. We know that it's only going to be 1 because 12 goes into 20 only once. So we put the 1 on top. We then take 1 times 12, which will be 12. We write the 12 right up here. And then 20 minus 12 will be 8. And since 8 is smaller than 12, we add another 0 and we bring it down. So now we have 80. We take 80 divided by 12 and the answer will be 6. Or 12 goes into 80 6 times without going over. 6 times 12 will be 72. We write the 72 underneath the 80 and then we subtract. 80 minus 72 will be 8. Since we cannot divide 8 from 12, we have to add another 0. We bring it straight down, and now we got 80. 80 divided by 12, or how many times does 12 go into 80 without going over, will be 6. We put the 6 right up here. We then take the 6 times 12, which will be 72. We're going to write it right down here underneath the 80. And as you can see, I am running out of room. So what I'm trying to get here is, is that we will have to keep on adding 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 forever. And the answer will be 0.16666666 and repeat forever. So what we do is instead of writing sixes and zeros forever, we go like this. We just write 0.166 and we draw a line on top or we go 0.167. Round it off.